might be. And now we go to lightweights. Five rounds is the schedule. And Jimmy Lennon's got the introduction of the fighters. All right, fans, here we go. Our next fight coming your way. Scheduled five rounds of boxing as we present lightweights in the ring. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner, and he's wearing purple trunks. Fighting out of the east side of Los Angeles, California, his weight tonight is 135 and one quarter pounds. His fine record, five wins, no defeats, one win by way of knockout. Welcome the undefeated Jaime Castillo. <laughs> His opponent across the ring on my right is fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks, white trim, fighting out of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The weight, 134 pounds. The record, seven wins, only one defeat, four wins by way of knockout. Introducing Roberto Gonzalez. The referee in charge now to give instructions, Burton Gilliam. Okay, fellas, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. I want you to listen to me at all times, okay? Any questions from anybody? Let's shake hands now. Be ready to fight. All right, here's the tale of the tape on these two young uh, lightweights. Castillo is 5'6", Gonzalez an inch taller. Castillo is a pound and a quarter heavier. He is five years younger, and the reach is uh, to no advantage, 68 inches apiece. I think Castillo. Is he related, Ruben? Are you a distant no, uh, cousin or something? No, he's not. Uh, hey, I've got a brother named Jaime Castillo, but he's history also as far as the fight game is concerned. We've seen this youngster. He's in the purple trunks, uh, trimmed in lighter purple, and almost all of his fights here at the Great Western Forum. He has gotten uh, better with each and every outing. He has gained in maturity, and uh, he's a very solid-looking prospect at 5-0. I don't know about Roberto Gonzalez fighting out of Mexico. He's 7-1 and one and a little bit taller. And I get the feeling if he's like most Mexican fighters, he's going to be a tough guy. Well, Jaime Castillo has been improving every time we've seen him here, Tom. He uh, puts his combinations together with very quick hands. So we'll see what kind of opponent he's got here. He wants to win the... Uh, the championship wants to be the lightweight champion of the world. Well, that's a uh, fine aspiration. Would be great, wouldn't it? Huh? It sure would. Out of East Los Angeles. He's born in Mexico. I mean, Castillo was. God, it's got to get credit for all of Jaime's great wins and for Jaime being in the great shape that he's in. Is Art Arvizu. He's 72 years young. Oh, look at that. speed there as he banged away successfully against Gonzalez. Quick, quick hands. But of course, it's a typical Castillo. Why not? Um, All of a sudden, now he's going to become a close relative, huh? <laughs> Didn't know him a moment ago, and now you want to move him into the living room, I suppose, huh? Boy, you talk about a front runner. I'll tell you what I like about him. Not much wasted motion, Ruben. That's he right. goes straight at you from either side. He goes right up the middle with the punches. No wild swinging jobs. And he doesn't throw it until he's ready to throw it. And he figures he's got something to hit. And more often than not, he connects. Well, I told you, Gonzalez, if he's a typical Mexican fighter, he'd be a tough guy. This is a busy, busy opening round. Castillo's 5-0. and oh. He's been a bit by bit, almost fight by fight, growing in popularity with uh, the fight fans here at the Great Western Forum. And they sometimes are very difficult to please. Witness the fight tonight when Joe Orewa really pitched a 12-round solid performance. And don't say shut out. Come on. No, don't but say I tell you, don't how did your scorecard look compared I to mine? I was one point off. I had 117-111 one and one judge had a 116-111. So I don't know what judge was watching the fight who had a 115-113. I don't know. But I guess I do. And he says, am I right? I'm not going to tell him anything. Yeah, well, I'll tell him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, low blow. Come on, Jaime. And Gonzalez appears to be in obvious pain. But I, if I know Jaime, being a Castillo, he really did not mean to throw that shot. It was a low blow, but he didn't mean it. I don't care what anybody says, he did not mean it. Well, from a guy who's taken more of those than he ever threw, it could very well be a fair statement. Here's another look at it. Let's see. 
right here is where it's going to come. Uh, that was more the leg. Making a point well, away. I, I want to know something. Now, Bubba's a good friend. Burton Gilliam is an actor. And, and uh, back to the future three. Now, I've got a bone to pick with him. Why did he take a point? Why not warn the man who's his first time he hit him low should not take taken a point? Now, Jaime is really looking at him now with renewed interest. Hands on him. Watch way. this. This guy is looking at his corner to, to decide whether we should continue or not. Talk to me. It's his leg, man. It's his leg. It was all right. Low. But it was in the groin area on the right side. Robert Carnes and they're helping Gonzalez up and he's checking to see if he can stand up or not and continue that, the fight. That punch was in I don't believe this guy's this guy's an actor. Now this guy's a great actor. In fact, I want to see if we can get this tape again. I, I, this was not a very it was a slappy shot and I want you to see this Tom. Watch this. It was a slap. It was, see, look at this. Glove is open. And it was a glancy shot. I don't believe this guy does not want to continue. I cannot believe he does not want to continue. Here's another uh, look at it. Watch the left hand of Castillo. See, look at it. It was open glove. Oh, my. The, the guy does not want to fight. The guy definitely does not want to fight. What do you say? Can he continue? Is the low blow okay? 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 low blow He said he didn't, he, he didn't get a chance to block the punch. He doesn't want to continue, Tom. I'm going to tell you right now, this guy wants to quit this fight, and, and that was not such a devastating blow. Now watch him get up. Did you hear that? If it's a no decision, the fight doesn't get paid, watch him get off of his... Social security card there. Watch him. <laughs> what am I saying? This guy's going to... Now he's, I think he's going through the ropes. I think he's going back to the dressing room. What do you think? No, he's going to fight. When he heard he's not going to get paid, my man got up, and all of a sudden we feel a lot better. The bell is going to ring in a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds, we're going to ring in a couple of seconds. See how, see how money can cure things? That's, that's better than modern technology. That's better than all. Jeez, I can't believe this guy, man. Look, oh, now we're going to... There, now let's sit down. Tom, when he said that, he got up quick. Well, now, I don't know how you scored the round. Remember, Castillo lost a point. Okay, so you scored 9-9. Nine, nine. So no, as in draw. He said his leg fell asleep. 
Sergio. La pelea se gana, no es mejor, sí, tirando chingonazos. Bueno, ya había tenido otro gol, casi. Tome su tiempo. Tenido... Lo pueden descalificar a él, pero esto que tiene que hacer las cosas. Él piensa que puede descalificar, pero no pueden. Ok, tome su tiempo para que se recupere. Él quiere tomar su tiempo para que se recupere. Él quiere tomar su tiempo para que se recupere. Él quiere tomar su tiempo para que se recupere. Él quiere tomar su tiempo para que se recupere. Él quiere tomar su tiempo para que se recupere. Él quiere tomar su tiempo para que se recupere. Él quiere tomar su tiempo para que se recupere. Okay. 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 Tell him, tell him that he won't get paid if he doesn't fight and watch you come out for the second round. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> You're a hard man, Ruben. I say, uh, you know, see, this is what this is what really irritates me. He say, now he's saying he's not scared. Who, who even questioned him? See, this is what irritates me, Tom. First he was talking about a low blow, now it's his leg. I don't understand. Yeah, they aren't going to let the fight go on and he's not going to get paid. They will stop it. really upset now. He's looking a little more now. <laughs> Maybe he's stopping it as Maybe we should get him a stretcher. Should have been done. Boy, he really is an unhappy fighter. We'll be back. More from the Great Western Forum right after we pause for this message. And referee Gilliam took a point away from Jaime Castillo. And then all of a sudden, Gonzalez complained of everything. Uh, uh, except chill planes. Really, his leg was numb. He couldn't get up. He couldn't stand. He couldn't walk. They told him they would not pay him. Finally, he got up, and then as the bell came to a close, he didn't come back out, and they've stopped this fight. I think no decision, but let's get an official from ring announcer Jimmy Lennon. Jimmy? Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number one. Ringside's physician, Dr. Robert Carnes, ruling the fighter unable to continue. The bat was stopped due to an unintentional foul. Under California rules, this goes down as a no decision. The final result, a no decision. Well, Jaime Castillo's got to be very frustrated and upset. He is showing nothing, just a very stoic face, showing no, uh, no emotion at all. He's a very tough, talented young fighter, and I'm sure he didn't uh, want uh, this, his sixth appearance here at the Great Western Forum to end like this. Now, Ruben Castillo is up with Burton Gilliam, uh, the referee, and we'll get the referee's full interpretation of what happened. Ruben, if you will, please. Uh, thank you, Tom. This uh, is a former friend of mine, Bob <laughs> Burton Gilliam. Bert, Bert I, I don't understand something. Why, how can you take a point when you didn't even give him a warning? Is uh, that possible? We, oh, yes, because we have clinics on these things uh, three times a year. And we have, uh, the California, California Athletic Commission has decided that if a foul is bad enough to warrant calling timeout and giving a rest to the injured fighter, that's also worth taking a point away from him. Okay, when it was drawn to the man's attention that if he didn't get off of this canvas to fight, he wasn't going to get paid, and he got up as quick as throwing him a rattlesnake. And I think that's the way that the, uh, our rules are set up that if he, if it does go to a no decision, which this is, this is a no decision, neither fighter gets paid. And I'm not, uh, I just enforce the rules. I don't make the rules. All right. Burton, I just want to say, I think the man is, is a heck of an actor as yourself, but I think he's, uh, I think he's got to win Academy Award for this. And let's go back to Tom Kelly at ringside. All right. Thank you, Ruben. And we thank Burton Gilliam for his candid comments on how this fight was stopped. We'll be back with more from the Great Western Forum here in California. Yes, you, the fans at ringside, have voted tonight's winner as contestant number three. Michelle, you are the winner. Well, a very happy young lady, Michelle, named Miss Ringsider this evening. She is from Huntington Beach. She's 23 years of age and obviously overjoyed by the success. She's a part-time student and a model. And of course, uh, she'll be able to further her education. She's a thousand dollars richer. So while Michelle, Miss Ringsider for this evening's activity, parades around the ring, we'll be back with a final comment after we pause for this message.